But Lily has been begging for, not begging, you know, she's been wanting quesadillas. That's the word. She's been wanting quesadillas for a, a while now. And by a while, I mean like four days. And she's a lot like her mama. And when she decides she wants something, she wants it. And we ended up running to the store a few nights ago to get some more produce. Because we are always having to do produce runs here lately. Um... And so I went ahead and grabbed, we just needed tortillas in order to make her quesadillas. I went ahead and grabbed some cheese too, but we had the stuff here to do it other than tortillas. But we're gonna make that tonight. I'm throwing everything here in the crock pot. You can't see it. Um, and it's a whole pack of chicken. I just decided I'd throw a whole pack of chicken in here. Anything left over I can eat on the rice and whatnot. Cause I'm gonna, I also picked up some rice. I should have done a grocery haul cause it was a, a fairly decent haul, but I just, I wasn't in the mood for all that. So I got some red beans going on the stove. I'm going to add in this whole packet of taco mix, taco seasoning. And then I did add a little bit extra seasonings because we only had one package of this. Um, but I wanted to just go ahead and make a bunch of it and then I'll use this for taco bowls, burrito bowls, whatever, just actual tacos, burritos. It's endless. I'll use that whatever's left over for the next couple of like lunch meals and such. So thought we'd do that. I got to get in here and get my workout in before John gets back because it's it didn't snow a ton last night. Um, but it snowed some so I don't want to run outside. One, it's cold, which I can deal with. I can deal with running in the cold, but there's slick spots on the road. Like it's got a lot of clear, but there's also a couple of slick spots like that. So I'm not looking to get hurt. So we're gonna get on the treadmill. John is working on opening up, making like a temporary door to get in and out of the basement without having to go downstairs. The laundry's going. It's got Nolan's coveralls in it, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, but we're gonna do a temporary door to where you know we just pick up the subflooring go down and then we can come up shut it when we're not in and out of there that way little spideys can't get up in the house because no thank you um but it just make working on it easier for him and then like the other yesterday was it yesterday i don't know i wanted to work out down there because it's just there's nobody down there there's no traffic you ain't gotta worry about bothering nobody or nobody walking in on you because i like to dance I don't like people to see me when I do that. I didn't say I was good at it. So, we're gonna, he's going to do that. I don't know how far he's going to get with it. But, he's he had to go get the skid steer. And then he's going to start working on that, I guess. So, anyways, he was working on it. He got it all, like, leveled up and stuff. He got the stairs built a few evenings ago. But, you got to see that, I think, at the beginning of this video. Um... And da, 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 yeah, anyways, the treadmill for now is like right above his head where he would have been working down there. And I didn't want to be feeling like I was busting through on him. So I told him I was going to jump on the treadmill while he's gone. So I'm going to do that. I wanted to get this chicken started though. So that the chicken started. And yeah, I just wanted to say hi. How you doing? We're about to go work out because we are feeling very good lately. Very motivated. The weight, as far as like weight loss goes. It's not going too far, okay? We lost a couple pounds really quick and then we're just like stagnant now, but I'm trying to not just do it for the weight loss. Um, I'm trying to do it for how I feel and just 
knowing that I am fueling my body with better foods, not all good foods, because your girl went to McDonald's the other day when we went out and got groceries, okay? But I just, I just feel good knowing that I'm taking care of my body. So we're gonna get here and get this run done before he gets back so we ain't thumping on his head. Why does everybody keep making fun of my red beans? When he said they stink. To be fair, they kind of do. So I couldn't decide how much I was going to run, but um, right as I hit one mile, John and Nolan got home, so I figured that was my sign to quit. So, I'm, I'm a mess, more than usual. We're gonna walk out here. Nolan came in super excited because they busted the tire on the trailer and it's like riding metal, he said. So, we're gonna walk out here because I think he wanted to show me, but I had on my running shoes still and I couldn't, I couldn't walk out here. Yeah, good thing about it being double, right? Yeah, a little bit. But you hear? Oh, it's the air coming out of the other one, ain't it? Yeah, not that yeah, one. Yeah, he ruined that, did he? Not the really. The rim and everything. All of the tires was already. Ruined. Yeah, I think this is the one with the bad tires anyway, wasn't it? Yeah. See how much of Harry's left. He's he's disintegrating, right? You don't have the arm. <laughs> He's trying to hang out. All his babies melted already. They didn't ever get around to making a wife, but they did bring the babies out here. They had made some babies and brought them out here. We see the eyeball in his nose. Yep. And his head is about to fall off. Yeah, it's barely but, hanging on, right? I want him to die. Yeah, he won't, he won't die today or tomorrow, though, probably. Because yeah. it's not supposed to get above 30 degrees. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's going to be cold. He melted more. I came out here not long ago, and he wasn't melting much. Yep. The rubber fell off on the road. Then it is all right. So is that going to be your story? Yep. For, uh, well, he ain't done much since last time I was out here. He put up those columns. I don't know what they're called, but that's what we're calling them. Back there where Nolan's at, that's where we're going to store all of our Christmas stuff. We need all the storage we can get, right? So, this is going to be the storage. This might eventually be a tiny bathroom with just a toilet and a sink. Um, we got the, what's it called? The drain and everything is already under the concrete, but that will be future plans. In order to put a bathroom down here, we have to, did Daddy say put a whole different septic tank in? I think he said we have to put a whole different septic tank in or something like that. I like a little one because of the ground angle or something. But I don't know what he's talking about. So, yeah. He told me he had put blocks. I think that's what he told me. So, I thought that he had done more down here. Yeah, he put, like, I think he put blocks up there. Because he's going to have to cut some. Oh, up that's there. the blocks he's talking about, wasn't it? Or up there, the little pieces. He needed to put blocks on my head and had to cut something out. But anyways, ready to go back in the house? Mm -hmm. I'm looking extra messy, but it's okay. We don't care around here. We don't care. Very far, I've tried to be my own all in all and everything, but it's just been a hard and arduous thing. When I look back upon the life I have lived in the Are they good? What? Yeah. Days. Yeah. Do they taste like Trader Joe's? Yeah, that but I'll find one I like Trader Joe's better though. Do you? Why? Because they got stinky. vanilla bean. You think so? It, it tastes the same. It though. does taste the same. The other one is the steamy and it's bigger than I like it. The coffee one kind of tastes like caramel at first, but after I taste this coffee. They're it's good though. Good. We like them. Tastes like the Trader Joe. Lily found these at Walmart the other day when we went. We'd never seen them at our store, so we grabbed two of them because, you know, children will fight over them. But they're really good. What was they? Five dollars? A little bit less? That tastes a little bit less than five dollars. But these are really good. They're in the freezer section back with like the 
pre-made pies and cool whipping stuff. The choices I have made, what do I see? All hell fails when I try to push my way, but when I give in, all life's good came running at me. With an open heart and mind and arms laid down, your wall and hate and arms let in the light of day and let Jesus show the way. But hey, I'm not religious in an old sense. I can't stand the way that most priests stop in the state church or elsewhere. After having tried to decide each time I had to make a choice about yeah. something worthwhile. Now I take a pause and I take a breath and listen to them and I know how to begin. With a open heart and mind and arms laid down, your wall and hate and arms left in the light of day and let Jesus show the way. But hey, I'm not religious in a mold sense. I can't stand the way the nice priests talk in the state church or elsewhere. Try to get it right from the start. Unite mind and heart. Choose a way. Questioning my own path, who knows how long it will last or where it will go. Now I take one step back and I watch what's going on and I release the need to know. With a broken heart and mind and arms laid down, you're all in hate and arms left in the light of day and the so show the way, but hey, I'm not religious in a mold sense. I can't stand the way that most priests talk in the state church or elsewhere. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Until next time. Bye, guys.